Okay guys, you're very welcome back. Um, again, this is a great way for using up um, little bits and pieces in the in your fridge or whatever if you have a roast chicken. Remember the soup I made earlier and the breast of chicken that was cooked? Okay, still sitting in the cold room a day or two after it was not being used. Um, and if you are if you have a roast chicken and the bits that's in around the bones are kind of in around you know just take it all off and boil up your bones for um, stock for soup or whatever okay but um, this dish is kind of uh, brings back a few memories uh, when I used to work in the states back in the late eighties and I uh, used to work in the city uh, night chef and I'd be coming home about maybe half four in the morning or whatever and I was living up by Van Cortland Park two fifty first. Whatever, but the subway is only go I think to two thirty second or whatever. But there was a little, a little place that used to open all night long there. So you go in there and get your bottle of boat, and they used to thing called uh, a chicken hash, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And you put it, it's, it's just a mix of everything. But if you have stuff in the cold and you want to use up, it's a shocking tasty breakfast in the morning. Now I know a friend of my mother runs a health academy, Maureen, and she'll be pulling her hair out at this one. But anyway, it's no harm. Um, we have to have a bit of fun with it too. Okay, so basically, say you have a few plates left over from the, um, your dinner the day before, or whatever you know. So basically, you just cut them up like that, nice and rough. Okay, you have a, might have a bit of chicken leg, a chicken left over from um, a roast chicken or whatever. I have a bit of a breast chicken here. I love this because you go into this place in the morning, you'll be tired after your evening's work. Uh, you'd be sucking on a bottle of bush, you'd be sitting at the counter, they'd be cooking in behind the counter and it was just kind of, you're away from home and it was just an absolutely fabulous. The crack you was having there was absolutely savage. So basically whatever you have, I have some cooked plates left over. I have the chicken that I cooked in the, ch in the stock earlier for the soup. I have a little bit of onion here. I like scallions in it because it gives a great colour but I don't have any scallions. That's why I'm putting in a bit of green pepper just for colour, okay? And like this is a great way, say even a weekend morning, I have a bit of tomato left there, that's all I have. So I'm kind of done that. Everything is together here. It's no mess, no stuff. Look, there's no, nothing fancy here, there's no airs and graces. It's getting good, nutritious food into you and wasting nothing. Okay? So basically, that's all there. All just diced up, okay? Now, you, it's a great way to clean out your cold. Say you're going to do a shop on a Saturday or whatever, you know. So Saturday morning you get up, what's there, what am I going to use up? You can make the omelette like you've done earlier, like, I mean, because we've put it here. You can do a bit of a Spanish omelette or whatever. You know, that's fine if you want to use an omelette. But this is called a, a chicken hash, okay? And you do it on the grill here in front of you, and it's absolutely lovely. The egg goes into it, and you could have sweet corn in it or whatever, you know. So um, I'll just move it over. I'll show it to you. You might never use it. You might think, oh, Jesus, that's gorgeous. That, I, I have to have that every week. Okay guys, I'm over here at the cooker now, whatever, okay, so again, the pan is getting nice and hot, a little bit of oil, low spray cal if you want low spray cal. Okay, the first thing is to put in the plate because I want them to get a bit of colour, okay. Now over there, they'll kind of use um, a mix of the kind of uh, uh, cube potatoes like I have here, and some, maybe some mashed potatoes, whatever else. Like. It just comes out, it's just a gooey mess on the plate, but a shocking taste like, and um, a shock tasty, it's great way to use things up. Kids will love it, adults love it. You could have that in the morning on the side of the plate. Small portion, you don't need a big pan of it. Small portion on the side of your plate with a nice grill rasher. It's a lovely uh, breakfast at the weekend. But, you know, you can have, like, I mean, I showed you how to do omelets, I showed you how to do pancakes, and we've done French toast. Now we're doing a uh, chicken hash, okay? And then if you break it up, then with your, like, have your porridge around two or three mornings a week, or, you know, if the kids want wheat fix or something else, you know. We kind of just mix it up so it doesn't become mundane, doesn't become boring all the time, all the same things, so, okay? See them then taking out a small bit of colour there now. You know, if you have a good pan at home, it's very important, a non-stick pan, a good size pan. You also have to realise on the, the the rings wouldn't be as big on the cookers at home. So if you have a big wide pan, what happens is the centre of the pan gets very hot and whatever is around the edge doesn't really cook. So get a pan that, that's suitable to the size of your stove. They're taking on a nice bit of colour there now. Okay, so that goes with chicken. Just like that. Now bear in mind, they used to have a big grill there and they, had, they could have 20 or 30 of these on the go at the time. And they'd be all there um, putting in their bits and pieces. And lovely to watch after a busy day yourself in the kitchen and um, just chilling out and relaxing. 
I don't, I don't know if that's this still there or not. It's probably gone by now. Okay, and then whatever other ingredients you have. I want to use up for the garlic, I want to use up tomato, and put in peppers because I like to have scallions in it just to give it a colour effect. And it's just a mix match of everything. Uh, look, it's not rocket science, it's not fancy food, it's shocking tasty food. You have chicken in there, you have potatoes in there. Okay, so a little bit of cracked black pepper into that. And a little bit of sea salt. Now, if you want to put chilies in there, if you want to put it, whatever you want to put in there, you know, it's up to yourself. As you can see, the colours are quite nice in it. Um, you know, for sort of like the beans, one, two, three, four, like there's four kind of nice portions there for a small breakfast or whatever, you know. And you're using up everything in your cold room, then you're heading off for the day at 10, 11 o'clock to go and do your shop. And you have your list with you, make sure you have your list because you know what to have on Sunday, you know what to have on Monday, you know what to have on Tuesday, so you know what to get in. There's no point buying in huge lists and everything else. I heard a story this morning where there was one home delivery done in the Donegal region over the weekend and there's over a thousand euros worth of groceries. Absolutely crazy for a small household. Okay, but basically that's more or less it there guys. What I do now, leg in the middle, just like that. And mix all around. <laughs> Probably see any home. Yeah, that's an awful pan of grew out here. But I tell you, she's tasty. So basically, our fridge is emptied out. We have that ready in about four minutes, five minutes, and it's whatever you want to put into it. Okay? So basically, the pan here, or a plate here. That's your chicken hash, guys. Nice and tasty. Two, two, two grilled rashers with that now. A little leg on top. Okay. Guys, I love a little breakfast idea. And it uses up everything. You have no waste. All I'm doing here is just showing you how not to waste food and how to cook nutritious meals, get the family involved. And um, so there we go, we've got our chicken hash with fried egg on top.